Dear students, welcome back to the lecture series on tourism. In today's episode, we are discussing another important kind of tourism, sports tourism. And the topic can be divided into following subheadings. They are introduction to sports tourism, definition of sports, sports and tourism, impact of sports tourism, sports tourism in India. Coming to the first one, introduction to sports tourism. Sports tourism is a prevalent and growing phenomenon. However, it did not magically appear directly. Connections between sports and tourism can be traced back to ancient times. People used to travel to see and enjoy Olympic Games in ancient times to Greece. The World Tourism Organization and International Olympic Committee hosted a major international conference on sports and tourism in 2001. This conference represented a defining movement in the recognition of the relationship between sports and tourism by the leading international organizations for sports and tourism. It built upon the reality of tourism demand for sports experiences. Sports, particularly large-scale sporting events dating back to the ancient Olympic Games have long influenced travel and tourism. However, large number of travelers currently seeking active and passive involvement in sports is of recent development. It is increasingly clear that the scale, complexity and potential of sports tourism are very fast developing. The expanding mutual interest of sports and tourism demands that academic and industry expertise be directed towards establishing a mechanism for mutual benefits. Today, a large number of people participate or watch sports events. Though the connection between sports and tourism have long been established, the relationship is now getting global significance. Media attention has increased and people are becoming more aware of the health and recreational benefits that sports and tourism provide. The relationship between sports and tourism is symbolic. It is not simply that sports furthers tourism by offering an ever-increasing range of valued visitors' experiences, tourism also aids sports. These two are interdependent and sports have become special segment of tourism industry. Sports and tourism are inextricably linked and as globalization advances, new and exciting possibilities are opening up to enrich visitors' experiences through sports. The links that exist between socio-demographic status, lifestyle and consumption pattern in sports and tourism heightens the value and utility of identifying sports tourism market in practice. The forces of globalization and democratization have had significant implications for consumptions of sports and development process in sports tourism. The modern development of sports tourism stands at cross-section of contemporary trends that include the following features. The expanding demographic profile of participants in sports, increased interest in health and fitness in Western countries in the last five decades, increasing demand for active engagement in recreational pursuits during holidays, growing recognition and economic benefits derived from sporting events. Estimates of the size of the sports tourism sector vary mainly because there is no single agreed definition of what constitutes sports tourism, while definition of tourism are well accepted and fairly consistent throughout the world. Definition for sports tourism range from narrow ones involving travel solely 
for participating in competitive sporting activities to broader definition where the sporting activity may be more leisure and secondary sports tourism involves people traveling to participate or observe sporting activities these activities may include people competing in an international event such as olympic games or simply sitting as spectators to watch any sport event coming to the next one definition of sports there is no universally accepted definition of sports widely differing views are held as to which activity come under the banner of sport the usa has given the following features for sports it requires complexity of physical skill and vigorous physical exertion involves some form of rules governing competition it is a structured event in the sense that sports are governed by a set of rules and regulations which relate to space and time the european sports council has defined as all forms of physical activity which through casual or organized participation aim at improving physical fitness and mental well-being forming social relationship or obtaining results in competition at all level this definition has not distinguished between competitive and non-competitive sports event or professional and non-professional participation all these activities are referred to as sports we may use the term sports in the widest possible term to include the whole range of competitive and non-competitive active pursuit that involves skill strategy in which persons engage at their own level simply for enjoyment and to raise their performance to get publicly acclaimed excellence sport is also defined as being goal oriented competitive and contest based all these three features are closely related sport is goal oriented in the sense that sporting situations usually involve an objective for achievement in relation to ability competence efforts a set of skills and dedication in most cases this goal orientation is extended to some degree of competition at one extreme competition is expressed in terms of winning or losing alternatively competition can be interpreted much less rigidly in terms of competing against individual standard this interpretation of competition offers a much more inclusive approach that covers recreational sports such as those commonly associated with outdoor pursuit closely associated with the competition is the contest based nature of sports the outcome is determined by a combination of physical strength game strategy and to a great or lesser degree of chance physical prowess consists of physical speed stamina strength accuracy and coordination among the members of the team the presence of in sport is accompanied by uncertain outcome which keeps suspense throughout the sporting event going beyond the definition involvement in sports can take different form a distinction is often made between active and passive sports involvement active sport involvement requires the participant to participate physically in the sport event while passive involvement includes watching others engaged in sports definition of tourism the word tourism has been originated from the latin word tournus which means a tool for describing a circle or a turner's wheel in this sense a tourist is a person who undertakes a circular trip that is ultimately come back to the place 
from where he sets out his journey. During 17th century, the term tourist was used officially by Germans and Britishers travelling on a grand tour of the continent. Around early 19th century, the term tourist was used for a person who makes a tour for recreation and pleasure. It is an interesting fact in history that in ancient times, Romans and Greeks used to travel to several places in participate in sports. Hence, sports tourism in the modern context is an offshoot of this very old practice. According to Chambers Encyclopedia, tourist is a person who takes traveling for holiday making or for pleasure. But later, it was widely accepted as a kind of travel which has two features. Third, the traveler earned at home. The Tourism Society of Great Britain has said, tourism is the temporary short-term movement of people to destination outside the places where they normally live and work. A tourist is a temporary visitor staying at least 24 hours outside his normal stay with a purpose of leisure, recreation, sports, study, religion, family, mission, meeting or conference. Tourism definition may be classified into those associated with popular usage of the term as mentioned above. Definitions arising from all these perspectives tend to share three key dimensions. The most prevalent of these is spatial dimension. Tourism involves travel to a non-resident place and eventually return to their home. The second dimension involves a temporary stay at least for 24 hours or one night. A third common dimension of tourism definition is concerned the purpose of travel or the activity during the travel. It is this dimension that may sub-activity find their genesis for different purposes for which the travel has been undertaken. It embraces ecotourism, religious tourism, adventure tourism, sports tourism, cultural tourism, etc. Moving on to the next one, sports and tourism. Sports is an important activity within tourism and travel and tourism are fundamentally associated with many types of sports. The specific confluence of the two concepts varies according to perspective of the stakeholders. A sport tourist is a person who makes a trip to outside his normal residence for a minimum of 24 hours to participate in the sports or to absorb sports activities. In other words, it is a holiday involving sporting activity either as a participant or as a spectator. An overview of sports tourism. Today, a large number of people participate or watch sports events. Though the connections between sports and tourism have long been established, the relationship is now gaining global significance. Media attention has increased and people are becoming more aware of health and recreational benefits that sports and tourism provides. A number of travel companies have been established to advertise different types of sports including adventure sports. In many travel and tourism journals, advertisements from star hotels and resorts emphasize the availability of sports facilities and opportunities. The relationship between sports and tourism is symbolic. It is not simply that sports furthers tourism by offering an ever increasing range of value addition to visitors experience, but tourism also aids sports. This is an interdependent relationship. Sport is a special segment of tourism industry. Sports and tourism 
are very closely linked and as globalization advances, new and exciting possibilities are opening up to enrich tourist experiences through development of a variety of sports activities. Adventure sports tourism is growing segment of tourism industry. Sport is acknowledged and popularly accepted as health enhancing activity for which tourism can be the catalyst. Health care and protecting the body have become an important part of tourism. Sports tourism is a multi-billion dollar business now and is one of the fastest growing areas. The economics of cities and countries are increasingly dependent on sports tourism because of this reason there is a severe competition among the countries of the world to host international sports events like Olympic Games, Asian Games, Commonwealth Games, etc. Sports tourism is passionate, high spending and gives enjoyment for new sporting experiences and often stimulates other tourism activities. It will have both direct and indirect benefit on the destination. It can change the entire economy of a region and even change the cultural perception of a community as it happened in Middle East and South Africa. Sport is a part of development of human capital as it promotes health, mental strength, developed character, neutralized tension and social instability. It also builds international understandings and bring harmony among different communities and countries. Sports have become a socio-economic phenomenon of considerable magnitude influencing community life, ethical value, race and ethnic relationship. Sports Tourism Market A travel market focused entirely on participation or watching sports events becomes a market for sports tourism. Sports tourism is widely used as a niche sector for the tourism industry. Sports tourism is a market that may be approached generally as demonstrated by the mass tourism promotion of major sporting events. Understanding sports tourism market is an important aspect of tourism development. Important question includes who are sports tourists? What factors motivate sports tourism? To what extent do motivation differ between distinct groups of sports tourists? What travel experiences do sports tourists seek in association with sports that they pursue at a given destination? According to these questions will provide valuable insights into niche market segments and the basis for making market segmentation decisions. Market analysis is critical to the effective development of sports tourism within the context of regional, national or international tourism destinations. Coming to the next one, impact of sports tourism. It has brought both positive and negative impact on society. The following are the positive impact of sports tourism. First one, economic impact. Economic benefit to the host country is definitely a positive impact. It created lot of employment and generation of income to the host country. As a result, the standard of living of the people has improved. Second one is cultural growth. It has also led to better international understanding and cultural growth. When there is interaction between two cultures, normally it leads to better understanding and growth of both the culture. International peace can also be achieved. Third one is preservation of traditions. Preservation of traditions is also possible. The need to showcase and display these traditions to tourists 
may create more demand for those products. Showcasing traditional dress, traditional food, ethnic costumes, etc. may help for reviving of these traditions. Physiological Impact People are generally interested and motivated to play sports when they participate in sports tourism. It can be seen in athletes who are actively involved in international competition. These athletes will have good physique and it is naturally normal for them to keep fit. They lead a lifestyle which centers on their health and physical well-being. Psychological Impacts Sports allows for the mind to relax when done for recreation. People who engage in sports tourism in a non-competitive environment typically used to as opportunity for rejuvenation and recharge of mind. Sports also cause the brain to secrete endorphins which prevent stress and strengthens the body against pain. At the same time, it makes people increase their self-confidence and boost their self-esteem. National Identity The national pride and prestige one feels when a mega event is held in his country is perpetual. It is a proud feeling to know that your country is able to hold an international event regularly. For example, Wimbledon Mart or US Open are held in England and USA. But if a country fails to develop sports tourism on the principle of sustainability, then there are more negative effects on the social life of the host country. The following are some of the negative impact of sports tourism. First one, social health impact. The health risks involved in sports tourism applies to both participants and spectators. Some types of sports may carry great risk. Even the participants due to excitement may suffer high blood pressure leading to other risk. Environmental impact. It mainly consists of pollution and depletion. Pollution can occur in terms of air, land, water and sound. Air pollution happens basically due to the emission of harmful gas from vehicles. Since large number of vehicles moves in the sporting areas, naturally it causes air pollution. Littering and solid waste problems also causes pollution. Land use. Land is very necessary for developing sports tourism. Some of the sports require huge space and some special facilities. For example, golf will definitely require large space to build its course. In urban areas, the availability of land may become very difficult. Socio-cultural impact. Each culture has some positive and negative effects. People from different countries come with their own set of cultural baggage. The youngsters of the host country may be carried away by the negative aspect of the tourist culture. This may lead to cultural degradation of the host country and other social problems. Violence Sometimes international or national sports event may result in violence. This usually occurs among spectators who are not happy with results of the competition. Usually the losing side may fight with other side and create large scale violence. It may result in misunderstanding and sow the relationship between two countries. For example, football fans of England created large scale violence resulting in large number of deaths in international match. Moving on to the last one, sports tourism in India. Sports tourism denotes tourism which is based on the theme of sports. This particular term and the movement associated is largely catered to by western countries comprising of North America, Australia and Europe. 
it has revolutionizing the tourism sector in every corner of the world. India is a popular holiday destination where sports tourism is gaining immense prominence and popularity. Tourism providers in India are encouraging sports tourism. It means that vacations to India are sports oriented. It is a lucrative business indeed from the point of view of revenue earning. India is one of the top destinations offering tourists with great and excellent scope for skiing in Himalayan regions, whitewater rafting in the hilly streams and rivers, bicycle tour on Indian roads, mountaineering, rock climbing and aero sports. There are a number of water sports in Goa, Kerala and other places which attracts large number of tourists. Surfing the waves is great fun in the Indian seas. Scuba driving and fishing are integral part of sports tourism in India. Golf courses in India largely encourage sports tourism which is an internationally acclaimed sports. The magnificent golf courses attracts professional golfers as well as amateur golfers. There are many traditional games in India which attract a large number of both domestic and foreign tourists. One such sports is famous boat race in Kerala. Destination in India offering sports tourism. Sports tourism in India is carving a niche market for itself in Indian tourism industry. Sports tourism is broadly defined by the adventure sports and games in India. There are indeed several destinations in India offering sports tourism. There are varied sports activities like mountaineering, rock climbing, scuba diving, white water rafting, kayaking, canoeing, sailing, surfing, water scooting and aero sports activities like ballooning, paragliding, hand gliding etc. Among the innumerable destinations in India offering sports tourism are Himachal Pradesh, Uttaranchal, Goa, Andaman and Nicobar. These are extremely popular and attract large number of tourists. Sports tourism in Himachal Pradesh comprises of adventure sports like trekking, skiing, golfing, river rafting, paragliding and cycling. Various water sports are very popular in Goa. The coastal stretches of Goa makes this state in the western part of India a paradise for aquatic sports lovers. Sports tourism in Andaman and Nicobar Island just like Goa are offering enjoyable and thrilling water games. Jammu and Kashmir, Sikkim and Darjeeling in West Bengal also features as destinations in India offering sports tourism. Skiing in Gulmarg is a thrilling and breathtaking experience. One common point to be noted amongst the hilly states and regions of India is that the respective state governments are taking optimum measures to capitalize on the natural setting in order to promote sports tourism in India. States markets by presence of seas, oceans and water bodies are encouraging various water sports. Therefore, destinations in India are offering sports tourism activities in accordance with their geographical uniqueness. So students, I hope that after going through the above discussed topic, you are able to understand the importance of sports tourism and its status in India. We will meet in the future episode. Till then, take care. Thank you.